Anyway, we're here for a great, great occasion. JR has been uh, somewhat patiently waiting. He gave his heart to Christ last fall and with the Christmas. It's been kind of hard to see us with the new, with the Christmas tree up here and to do the baptism. So we decided to wait till now. And, and so he's been really patient. So tell me, what happened to you? Did you get saved? You gave your heart to Jesus? Is life different now, right? Yes. You know what baptism is? Showing everybody that you trusted in God. That's a great answer. Yes, sir. That's absolutely true. I told him earlier when we were kind of going over this and I baptized him, my little brother, he said, you're not my little brother. <laughs> but I am in Jesus Christ. What a joy and a privilege to be a part of the family of God. Today, as he has said, he is telling the world that he is, belongs to Jesus. Amen. He already belongs to him, but this, he's given testimony to the death, burial, and resurrection of his own life. And from this point onward, absolutely, he wants the world to know that you belong only to Jesus. Okay? And love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. Grow to be a man of God. Have great passion for the word and be a light in this dark world that we're living in. Amen. So by your testimony, little, my little brother J.R., I excitedly and most gladly baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Buried together with him in baptism, raised to walk in newness of life. Amen.